Good afternoon, it's Ian from RTL here. Uh, welcome back if you've already watched uh, Buckstar Riders, uh, it's actually on, on the channel. Um, so this afternoon it is part three of the Mark Wilkinson artwork. Today we're looking at his uh, other stuff that he's done although he's done a lot of obviously fish and marillion he has done other stuff now i was just going to rank this like i did fish and marillion but there's so much all i'm going to do we're just going to have a look at some of his artwork this afternoon he's done quite a lot and would be here forever so um he's done quite a few bands he's done quite a lot of um, prog metal bands in europe so we'll have a look at them we're going to go through them alphabetically and chronologically. So the first band we're going to look at are a band called Bloodbound. They're a Swedish prog metal. Never heard of them. I've listened to a bit of their stuff and I think we may do a ranking at some stage. Um, first album cover we're looking at is from 2005. Uh, it's called Nostafratu. How's about that? That is absolutely amazing. You can tell it's a Mark Wilkinson piece of artwork but that is so cool I do like that one uh, and then moving on uh, the next one was from 2009 uh, this is Tabula Raza very similar to uh, the previous one and very much like Iron Maiden which you'll find out in a bit um, I have another absolutely great cover uh, Moving on swiftly, uh, 2011, uh, the Unholy Cross album. Again, what a cool cover that is. Proper metal cover that is. Absolutely brilliant. And then in 9 2012, when the name of metal come out, and again, look at that. Look at that beauty. <laughs> heavy metal all over. I just love the jacket. Proper heavy metal jacket terrific so that's one band he's done uh, another band that he's done is an Irish rock band called Glider never heard their stuff again I've had a listen it's not too bad so the first cover he did for them was from 2008 uh, Playground for Life what I like about this it's got a little bit of that Marillion feel to it with the masks um, I do like the Helter Skelter in it. I just like that. I think that's a pretty cool cover. Uh, then he did a follow-up for them. 2010's Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow. That's just classic Mark Wilkinson. Absolutely lovely cover that is. And then another one he did for them. Uh, from 2011. Back Roads to Byzantium. That's pretty cool as well. But his best cover for them is their um, compilation album that also came out in 2011 Black Pearl I love that that is absolutely brilliant I just love the colours and that is just an awesome cover top draw stuff for Mark Wilkinson ok let's move on to another band that he's worked with uh, a Norwegian uh, power metal band called Highland Glory now I have heard of these and they are on the list to do so uh, they again they've had three albums and he's done all their artwork for them they're terrific so the first one he did was from Cradle to the Brave uh, look at that awesome picture absolutely belting uh, I just love how it you know it's very much like the movie remember Roots and Lion King, it's all but it's just great. Then in 2005, he did another cover for them for Forever Endeavour. God, there's so much of Marillion in that, especially with the guy with the hand coming out with the rainbows. I love that cover, really good. And then the final album, one of the most up to date one, 2011's Twist of Faith. Again, you've got little bits of uh, Marillion in there with the face of the figure. Uh, absolutely belting. 
Right, next band is one we all know. Uh, it's Iron Maiden. Yes, he has done some Iron Maiden stuff. Uh, well, the first one he did was the live album live at Donington. I'm still, I've never really liked that one actually. It's not his best. Uh, he also did the single Wicker Man. It's got the band on. It's all right, I suppose. Uh, but then when they did the from the Brave New World album, uh, Out of Silence, Out of the Silent Planet, the single, I love that. That is absolutely corking. <laughs> Proper Iron Maiden cover, that is. Uh, the uh, no, Another album that he's done was the compilation Eddie's Archives. Um, that's another cool cover. I just like it, you know, the engraved background in Eddie's head. Terrific cover. And of course, he has done 2015's Book of Souls, which again is a great, great cover. Okay, he's also done another brilliant metal band. He's done some cover work for the mighty Judas Priest, um, one of my favourite bands. Uh, first one he did for them was 1998's Ram It Down. I love this. Pretty the album's a bit not the best album, but a terrific album cover. Um, just ram it down. It just what it does. He's hitting this earth. Absolutely brilliant cover. And he also did the uh, cover for 1990s Painkiller. It's a great album uh, and a great cover to go with it. I remember seeing them on that tour. It was awesome. Boy, my ears rang for days. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, also in and then in 1993, Priest brought out a compilation album, Metal Works. Another cool cover from uh, Mark. Really good cover. Uh, he's also did the cover to 1997's Jugulator. I've never been keen on that one, really. Uh, I've seen better. Uh, you also then did from 1998 the Live Meltdown album. That's not too bad. Uh, but he's from that era of uh, the Ripper era, the best cover he did for them was the 2001 Demolition. I just like how the O is that just that little dot in the middle there. Very clever, and I do like that. Then in 2005, uh, when Rob come back, um, Angel of Retribution cover. Awesome cover. The Priest is back. Now, one of his best covers is the ill-fated Notredamus. Um, it's an all right album. It's a bit too long, but the cover is just absolutely amazing. I, re I mean, I like Notre Dame, and I've got books about him, and I do, do love that cover. And in 2009, he produced the artwork for the live album Touch of Evil. Again, great cover. Really nice artwork on that. Uh, and then one of his best ones he done was from 2014's Redeemer of Souls. That is awesome. I, do, I mean, I like most of the Priest covers, but that one's pretty, pretty good. And also, he's done the latest album, Firepower, which is an awesome uh, cover. I just love how it represents the Firepower. Um, Mark has also done some, connected with Priest, he's done some uh, Van De a couple of Glenn Tipton's solo albums. First one he did for him was 1997's Baptism of Fire. That's a pretty cool cover. And then he did The Edge of the World. As you can see, it says Titson, Entwhistle and Powell. Came out in 2006. Apparently, he recorded it, obviously, with Entwhistle and Powell was still alive. And then it was shelved for years. I haven't listened to it. I didn't know it existed. But this weekend, I'm going to hunt it out. And I'm sure it'll end up on review some stage. 
He also did uh, 2019 Celestial cover for Mr. Halford, the metal god himself. That is such a cool picture of Rob. The metal god himself. Terrific. Um, I've, just, I've, not been, I've read his book, Confess. Absolutely brilliant. If you haven't read it, it's a must. Okay, let's move on to another band that we probably don't know much about, and I didn't know. They're called Cortini. They're Australian. Um, I had a quick listen to their stuff because it's on Spotify. It's pretty good. Um, I've got to listen to it more before I decide if we do a ranking. Uh, first album he did for them was 2008 Red Live Joint. Again, we've got that angel and that face that's been part of Mark's collection for years. Really good cover. Then the, we got a really good one. Uh, from 2009, Game of Fools. A poker game that went on too long, I think. But it's pretty cool. I like that cover. Then he did uh, 2010's uh, No More Bets. I love the ace there with the skull. Really, really good. And then comes my favourite cover he did for Cortini. Welcome to the Crossroads. How cool is that? That is an awesome cover. Uh, and then he did their live album, Alive and Kicking. Pretty good again. Very consistent is Mark Wilkinson's artwork. Uh, then in 2015 they asked him back again and he thought the night goes on for days. Again, that is a cool cover. With Mark Wilkinson, you've always got some face somewhere, and I love that. Or it goes back to his Marillion days. Really good cover. And he also did the cover for their latest latest album, that came out in 2018, Rolling. Another, another cool cover. And going through the depths, I found a couple of more covers for a Swedish symphonic prog band called Rack. Never heard of them. Um, haven't found any of their stuff yet, so I can't tell you anything about it, but I can tell you about their covers. First he did this is for Lepodia or Lepetria 2004. That's the only picture I could find. Uh, it's a bit blurry, but it's, it's a pretty cool picture. But the one I did like is the next one, 2012's The Book of Flight. How awesome is that? And if you looked at the beginning of the video, the introduction, there's the bigger picture of that. That is awesome. Really, really good. Uh, then I found another band uh, called Sky Architect. They're a progressive rock band based in Rotterdam. Uh, first cover you did for them is Excavations of the Mind. Another great cover. Came out in 2010. It's that face again prominent in the front of the cover absolutely brilliant cover then in 2011 he did a die man's hymn bit dramatic that is <laughs> but it's nice artwork uh, then I found it's amazing what I found looking at Mark Wilkinson's covers he's done so much uh, he's also done a German hard rock band called Tale Tellers. Uh, first cover he did. Now this is great. It's Detonator, but it's got that Jester's hat. And uh, it just hey, hankers back to the Marillion days with the Jester. That and a mix of a bit of Iron Maiden, a uh, bit of Fish cover. I mean that globe looks like the cover to Real to Real actually. Which I think I don't know if it is, but it, it might be based on it. But it's a pretty cool cover. I'm not sure about the next one though. Uh, Radio Liza. I don't really like that one. So we'll move on. Okay, he's also done all sorts of little bits for other bands as well. Uh, in 2013, he created this. Uh, can't remember the name of the band, but Navarra Crowley. It's a pretty good picture. And then for Medusa, he did uh, this one, Darker Shade of Hate. That's a cool cover. Uh, then in 2013, Frascard. 
he did out of world out world oh, i love that little guy in the corner with the sphinx and the eye it's a pretty cool cover then he's done a cover for um john wesley american uh prog artist chasing monsters that is awesome that just does hanker back down to uh the days of Marillion uh, and Fish sort of stuff. That is an awesome cover. And then I discovered that he did uh, the cover for Megadeth's Mary Dra Jane single. And that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool cover. Uh, next one we've seen before, Prisons of Paradise. Uh, it's one of my favourite album covers from Europe. Uh, then I found an album that I can't find any of the stuff he's done, but it's a typical Mark Wilkinson cover. It's an album called Beyond Obsession by The Kind Noise, and that's just typical Mark Mark Wilkinson. Really nice cover. Then he done for Acid Rain. That's a, the Age of Entitlement. I like that. That's pretty cool. But I've left my favourite cover for last. He did one for the darkness. He did one way ticket to hell and back. And apart from my music, I'm a bit of a steam train buff. I'm not an anorak, but I do like steam trains. So that is cool picture. So that's Mark Wilkinson. You see, he's done so much great stuff. Um, well, I'm now going to edit this and get it on on the channel and I'll be back at seven o'clock tonight for the uh, live stream I'm going to update you on what's happening in RTO uh, tell you what else we're going to be doing and also we're going to talk about gigs because we all miss them so if you're joining me later I'll see you later if not obviously the video will be on uh, on the channel um, so take care for those who are not here tonight and I'll see you all tomorrow where we have got, if I can have a look, we're looking at ranking the albums of Bread, an American soft rock band. And then we're going to look at uh, an album, and an album review that Adrian Smith from Iron Maiden made when he left the band. So lots to look forward to and I'll see you all soon. So take care for now.